Hi, welcome to the Paper Turtle. It's Mary and I am here with a rather small haul video for you today. Um, small compared to my usual ones because there just hasn't been that much out there. And also because this stuff, I want to get it done and put away so that I can start using it because I've got some really good stuff in here. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of things and then um, the rest of it is all from one estate sale. And I'll tell you when I start on those. But first I'm going to start with the things that are from random estate sales or thrift stores. So <clears throat> we have, uh, nope, that doesn't count. I mean, it counts. It's just, it, it, it's uh, different. Never mind. Hold on, I'll be with you. <laughs> okay. First of all, I have, oh, some photo paper. <laughs> I pick it up when I see it cheap because um, I print a lot of photos and that's a good price. I saw a pack one time at a at a thrift store, nine dollars, just like that. The same this same size pack of photo paper they wanted nine dollars for. It's been sitting there for months and months and months. <laughs> um, I got this little thing of note cards for sixty cents. I thought those were really cute. I really liked the inside of the um, the envelope. These have a a dollar sticker on them. I don't know where they came from. Maybe like Michael's or something, but it's just, just a cute little card. It says hello there. And look at the envelope. The envelope's different. It's got that um, foil like needles and leaves and stuff. And then that on the other side. So I thought for 60 cents that was Kind of a fun, different little thing. You know, I like finding um, vintage stuff, but I also like finding new stuff. These little note cards. I like putting things like this into a little tuck spot or an envelope or something. Very cute. They were 50 cents each. This, I paid $2 for it, which is a little more than I would normally pay, but I thought that it might be worth it. They're wallpaper cutouts. I'm going to open it up. They just look like big die cuts to me, but I thought they were really, really pretty. There's quite a bit of them in here. Yeah, they're nice and sturdy. They've got like a, not plastic, but I don't know. They're, I mean, they're flexible, but yet they're sturdy. I don't know how to explain that, but they're very pretty. I don't know. What do you think? Worth $2? I think so. Um, there's 16 of them in there. So that's pretty good. I found this. I've been wanting to do a horse book. Um, I don't know why. I'm not into horses. Um, but I just thought that it would be a fun journal to make. And I found this. It's in really, really good shape. It's from 1975. It's, I mean, there's no rips or tears writing or anything in it. And... I just thought that, and look, it's got Raggedy Ann on the back. I just thought that this would make a really fun horse journal. We'll see. Um, these I picked up. I don't know why. I don't do Halloween journals. <laughs> I don't know why I picked these up. They're treat bags. And they're, um, they're different ones. There's a little ghost and... I guess they're all little ghosts, but they're different colors. I have no idea why I picked these up. Um, 
I'll use them at some point. Now, I'm filming this on Halloween. I don't know when it's going to get put up, probably in a couple weeks, because that's usually my time period. Um, so I would have, if I had these, I would have sent these in some happy mail before Halloween, but it's too late now. Nobody's going to want Halloween stuff now. So I guess I'll just save these for next year and try to remember that I have them and figure out what I'm going to do with them. I don't know. Okay, I bought this deck of cards, and um, what did I pay? 50 cents for them. They're sealed, and I think I already have these. I do. So I'm going to have to look. Maybe one's a keeper deck and one's a, a used deck. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's my deck of cards. This also is a deck of cards. Cracker Jack, is that not the coolest deck of cards? I just loved it. Um, I did pay a dollar for it, which normally I don't pay. I, usually I pay 50 cents for a deck of cards, but occasionally I will spend a dollar. But aren't they cool? I mean, they're just regular. There's nothing special about them. Um, they're very new and glossy. These are going to be a keeper deck for a while. I don't know. I don't know if these people collected cards or what, but they... Somebody wrote a date in them, 32404, um, which I guess will be good for future reference. I'm going to guess that that's when they're from because I don't see any other date on here. Oh, 2002 is the copyright date. So, you know, who knows, maybe 50 years from now, somebody will find these and think that they're very collectible. I don't know. <laughs> I got another yearbook. They had a whole stack of yearbooks. Um, most of them were from the 50s. Um, but this was the oldest one. This is from 1948. And there's no signatures in it, which I'm a little disappointed in. But that's okay. Um, the pictures in here are so cool. Look at these senior pictures. Some of these girls just, they look so glamorous. The hairstyles are awesome. Some of the boys are a bit on the goofy looking side, but you know what teenage boys aren't, right? But this will be so much fun. And then it's got, look at that. It has um, even the juniors pictures are ones that I can cut out and use individual pictures. How much fun is that? And then there's the regular, you know, class groups and sports. And look at the uh, the year. I don't know if this was a yearbook or newspaper staff. But um, they've got an old typewriter. and Oh, I just love it. The clothes. So cool. And then the sports. I don't know how much I would do with sports in a junk journal, but you never know. You know, this was when, uh, <laughs> when the girls cheerleaders dressed like, almost like nuns compared to today's cheerleaders. <laughs> Today's cheerleaders wear the skimpiest outfits they can find, I think. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? King and queen. Look at that. This is a local to me yearbook. Kind of local to me. Um, so, and, and they're probably, a lot of them might be like old families. So there's probably still families around of these people. They graduated in 1948. Um, and they were, you know, probably like 17, let's see, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 
60, 70 years ago? Um, something like that? I don't know. I'm not good at math. <laughs> you know, I talk about people who don't know their Roman numerals, and here I can't do a simple math problem in my head. <laughs> oh, we all have our, our problems, right? Okay, now, everything else that I'm about to show you for the rest of this video came from one estate sale. Huge estate sale. I think I found someone who has more craft stuff than I do. I mean, this, everything. I mean, so much craft stuff at this estate sale. It was overwhelming. And um, another little story about this estate sale. I get all this stuff that I'm about to show you up to the to the checkout. And we've got it in a bag and we're carrying some of it. And I'm taking it out. And as I'm taking it out, we're reading off the prices, right? And the guy's looking. He's glancing up when we say it. And he's writing it down. He's adding it up. He added it all up. And he charged me with tax like $53. At the time, I didn't think anything about it, except I was like, oh, I knew I picked up a lot, but I didn't realize I spent that much money. But I did have a lot of stuff. So I pay, we go on our way, we're driving down the road to the next estate sale, and I start thinking. And I start adding things up in my head, and I'm like, no way. There's no way all of that was $50. So there was nothing I could do about it at the moment. When we got home, I took it all out. I added it all up, came to $26. I was, I was so upset. I was angry. I was like, felt like I had gotten ripped off. I just, I, I was like, oh my God. So I went to the estate sales Facebook page and the, you couldn't leave, um, a comment or anything but you could leave a review I left a review I did it as a positive review not as a negative review and I stated what happened did it in a very nice way and they actually contacted me and they said um, if I came back they would make it right and I said well I can't come back this weekend this place was like an hour away so, but I do, we do go to their estate sales often. So I told him, I, we do go to your estate sales often. He said, okay, let me know when you're at the next one and we'll make it right. So hopefully they do because I way overpaid for all of this stuff. Um, and I was really upset about it, but we're going to, you know, just move on and hopefully at the next estate sale, they'll, they'll make it right. I don't, I don't know what happened in the adding. Talk about not being able to add. Um, and I should have checked it. And normally what I do when I go to an estate sale, if I'm buying a lot of stuff, I do add it up in my head before I go to pay. Um, and I have kind of a ballpark figure in my head of how much it is. And if I have a lot of little things, sometimes I'll offer them a little bit less. Um, but I didn't do that this time for some reason. It, it was the first day of the sale. Um, Actually, it was part two of the sale, but it was the first day of part two. So I knew they weren't doing discounts, so I didn't do that, and I I should have. But anyway, we're going to move on. I'm going to show you what I got for my $50. Um, okay, first of all, I got this punch. It's a tab punch. It's not the great big one. It's a small one, but it's um something that I've seen people making things with and I didn't have one and I saw this and I thought oh I'm gonna grab that then I have to go back and find the videos and stuff where they made things with the tab punch when I mean, you can make a tab obviously but there's other things that they people do with it I have to research that and find that if you know of anybody who does videos um, that did something with a tab punch let me know because um, just tell me who they are in the comments and I'll go check them out so I have that. I have to empty the bag so I can put stuff back in it. Hold on one second. Okay. They had tons and tons of stamps. Oh my gosh, so many stamps. Um, they had a lot of punches too. 
but most of the punches I already, either already had or I don't need or want, except for that one. Stamps, again, I'm not a big stamper. I don't need more stamps. I don't really um, want to accumulate a lot of stamps, and I didn't see any that really grabbed me. Except for this one, it's from the Library of, and I just thought that that would be cute to make um, some little cards to tuck in the journals. And most of the stamps were unused. I mean, she was, she had to have been like a craft hoarder or something because so much stuff was unused. She did make stamps. I mean, cards. There were a lot of her made cards there that were for sale. Um, I don't know if people were buying them or not, but they, there were a lot of them there. There was a lot of embellishments, a lot of paper. I mean, everything, everything you can think of. I also bought two storage container boxes um like almost like brand new um what other big things did i buy oh i've got something else here well I'll get to it okay so there were these embellishments they're watches they're kind of 3d i thought they were kind of cool i like them i got this thing of flowers Ugh, i don't need flowers <laughs> i really don't i have a whole bunch of them but these were a little bit different so I got those. So these two things, because they had um, the store prices on them, he charged me 50 cents each. So that's pretty good. I think these also he charged me 50 cents each. Um, there were a lot of paper pads, a lot. Again, it's something I don't need. I only picked up a couple just because I thought that, well, I might need them. <laughs> This is pink. I'm always looking for pink. You know, I have three granddaughters that I scrapbook, so I figured the pink would be good. This one I thought was kind of vintage looking. It's embossed neutrals. See, these aren't even, she never even used these. These are still sealed. So they're full pads. So these are nice, um, well, like it said, embossed neutrals. Those are good uh, vintage -y colors. I thought that I could use those. Then <clears throat> there was this box of K and Company die cuts. I uh, just judging from what was on the cover, I thought there'd be good stuff in there. I think I pay, yeah, I paid a dollar. I don't know if the box is full original, but like I said, it looked to me like there was enough in there that uh, it would be worth the dollar. Um, there's some labels. A butterfly, a key. Oh my gosh, I hope you're in. I hope you're in frame. I don't know. I can't tell. I think you are. So there's a whole bunch of this stuff. Definitely can use these. Those are cute. An old sewing machine. Oh, I'm working on a journal now. I'm going to use that in. So this was a, a fun little package of goodies here. Some things I know I can use immediately. What is that? Yeah, lots of fun stuff in there. Okay. It's even a horseshoe for my horse book. <laughs> All these tiny little things. So that's a fun box. 
these I suspect might be like from, I don't know, the dollar store or something. But um, I thought these were pretty. I'm working on a, a blue and yellow book. So I thought these might go well in that. And then these are strawberries. Which is always fun. This, I believe she made this. I got this for $2. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. But, of course, the buttons drew me to it. I don't know if I'm going to cut this up or if I'm going to take it as it is and make it into a journal. Now, as I'm looking at this, all these pieces are pinned together. They're not sewn. It was like she put it together and was going to sew it. I don't know. Those are sewn. It looks like she just hand stitched those on there. Well, there's more pins. So it's very cute. It's got this little tie. It's all bound together right here with looks like a shoelace. It has these wonderful buttons on the front. Look at that. That's awesome. That actually unbuttons. Oh, I like that. So, tell me, what would you do with this cloth book? It's all cloth. There's like, would you take it as it is? These are like samples, fabric sample books. Would you take this as it is and just add to it and spruce it up to make it a journal? Or would you take it apart and use all the bits and pieces? How would you use this? Because I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. It's very interesting. But where does it go from here? I'm not sure. I have to really think about it. Let me know what you would do with this. I think it's awesome. I love all the texture, all the different fabrics. I like the feel of it. But it's not practical right as it is as a journal. It's got some weight to it, too. Um, so I don't know. Tell me what you think. This is definitely one I'm going to think about. Okay, also, same estate sale. I got this pad of decorative cutout stencil paper. Some of it I can use as stencils. Some of it I can just use as a page in the book. I don't know how, but there's plenty here for me to, to use. Isn't that fun? I had these two packs of um, cardstock. They are 65 pound, which I think is a pretty good weight. And they're just solids. I needed red. I'm all out of red. Um, there were tons of these. Like so many of them. I really tried to be very careful about how much I got. <laughs> yeah, and then I end up paying twice as much for it all. Um, can you tell that I'm really a little bit bitter about that? <laughs> um, this pad... I got for two dollars it is as far as i can tell either full or nearly full and it's uh really really pretty papers aren't those gorgeous some of these i i can picture using in a journal some of these i can picture using in my scrapbooks i do um 
a lot of nature type scrapbook pages because I we hike and we kayak and stuff and we camp occasionally so I do have nature themed pages that I do and then there's a, a sheet of stickers too You know, I say, okay, I paid $2, but in reality, I paid 4 <laughs> All right, Mary, stop being bitter about it. Move on. You made a mistake. Okay, this I grabbed because it's Marjolaine Bastin. I only paid a dollar for it. It says there's eight papers, two die-cut frames, five punch-out accents, and over 30 stickers. I love Marjolaine Bastin's artwork. I think she's just... It's just gorgeous. So, let's look at it. This is a frame with a um, die cut in the middle. And this is also a frame and these die cut out. Pretty. And then we have stickers. These can go in my blue and yellow journal. Well, and so can these. Those are pretty. Nice words. And then some paper. Paper's probably, it's very pretty colors. Just basic paper though. I, I was hoping that it had her artwork on the paper. Oh, there's some. It's still pretty. This heart punch, she had like a whole bunch of these. <laughs> um, let me see how it punches here. I should have tried it. Make sure that it worked. Yeah. That's cute. And then, of course, you get the... Oh. <laughs> well, she used this one. It's full of hearts. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay. Well, I have all these little tiny hearts. <laughs> Let me get a little bag to put those in. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't expect all those to come out. You know, I can't just throw them away. Okay, Mary, get your bag open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's not what I expected to be getting at a at an estate sale there's a punch full of hearts I guess that means she used her stuff <laughs> but she had I, I saw like I don't know at least four of those throughout the sale I don't know if she would forget what she had so she'd buy another one or if she got a really good deal on them or what I don't know but there were a bunch of them okay <laughs> Then I got these coin envelopes, a whole box of them. I thought they would be a fun size to decorate and put in a journal. 
or to decorate and put in a tuck spot or whatever. Very fun little things. More than I'll ever use, so some will get passed along. Um, I did pick up this, I grabbed this storage box because again, it's Marjolaine Baston and look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? And I don't think she used this. It's beautiful. It's, and it's thick and sturdy. I would say $12.99 at Michael's or somewhere. And I think I paid a dollar for it. Well, $2. <laughs> um, I have more storage boxes than I know what to do with now. I have to get organizing. I really do. Um, let me see what else do I have in here. This bag was $2. And it is... These medallion things. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use, how I'm going to use them. I'm not sure why I bought these. <laughs> I think I thought that they might have been a little flatter than they are. But I can... I can attach them to something... I wanted to or I guess I could tie something to them and hang them from a book I don't know I have a whole bunch of them and oh this is this is more why I picked it up not from plastic bag um, there's some buttons in here. I didn't see a whole lot of buttons at the sale. Um, I did go back. We brought everything out to the car. And I had not gone in the house yet. What they did was they had, they had a detached garage. They had a barn. And they had a wraparound covered porch. Like three sides of the house. And all of those were full of stuff. And then they had inside the house. Most of the craft stuff was out on the porch. So I had picked all this stuff up from the porch. And we paid for it and took it out to the car. And um, my husband said, well, go back and look in the house. Because I hadn't been in the house yet. Um, it was mostly like the glassware and the houseware household stuff like that in the house and the prices were a little bit high on that stuff but there, there was still more craft stuff floating around in the house there was craft stuff in the barn there was craft stuff in the garage um some of this came from the garage but when i went back that second time to look i had picked up a bag of buttons um and i was walking around with it it was two dollars but i didn't find anything else so there was a long line and I didn't feel like waiting in line for this one $2 item that I didn't really need. So I set it down and I, and I didn't get anything the second time through. Um, but let's see what's in here. All right. We have these old buttons. This one, that one, nothing real special. I like the vintage color of these. They say 40s to me. That one's on a card. Get that one. That's probably like a house coat button or something. It's just plastic. It's not like Bakelite or anything. Now these might... This one might be Bakelite. I'll have to test it. And then a whole bunch of these abalone things. So, I got a little button fix, button fix with that, but not anything extraordinary. Broken ones. Um, then, 
the last thing, which is actually, I think, like the first thing I picked up, is this box. It is 12 by 12 in size and is full of paper. Um, there's paper, there's cutouts. Really pretty stuff that I think I can use in junk journals. Very vintage looking. Um, I wouldn't normally just grab a box of paper because um, paper is not something that I need. But because this was so vintage looking and I liked the box itself, that's why I grabbed it. And at the time, I did not realize that in the bottom of the box is a scrapbook album. Um, which I don't, I don't need anymore. I have a closet full of empty albums, but that's all right. I'll just add it to the closet. And, um, I have this nice storage box with these bows and ribbons on it. It's pretty. Okay. That, that's my haul for today. Um, most of it all came from one place that I overpaid for, um, but I'm done talking about that. <laughs> and um, I guess we'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button. And you know, because I don't upload a video every single day, you might wanna hit the notification button too so that you get notified when I do upload a video because um, you don't wanna miss these haul videos. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.